Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. Happy Sunday. I am here. Uh, I'm loaded up on those vitamin C tablets. Uh, Tilly has had a nasty cough and cold and sharing is caring. So she's passing it around the house. So I'm trying really hard to not be too sick. I really appreciate all the kind comments. We had to postpone for winning Friday, um, but I'm here. I have an awesome set of supplies to share with you. Tons of inspiration and samples and all that kind of stuff and things that you are going to want to add to your crafty collection all summer long. So this was originally a live stream. So if you're watching and it's no longer live, I think Jensen's behind me somewhere. Um, be sure to drop me a comment down below. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Do give the video a thumbs up. It really, really helps us. And if you want to see lots of crafty tutorials, your Falling Friday, Lift Your Spirits coming up this week, all kinds of things, then be sure to hit subscribe and ring the bell so you know when we go live. Lisa is here. Bethany's here. Deborah, Gina, Chris, everyone is starting to tune in. Welcome. Happy Sunday. Um, it's been a busy week here. Uh, Katie, who many of you know, it's have been her last week here with us. Um, she is off to college. She's doing a mission over the summer. So um, this is her last kind of full week. She'll be in and out over the summer. And then she's going to work from us remotely in Ohio, which we're really excited about. But we're definitely going to miss her because she's a big part of the team. So we had a little get together for her yesterday. And I can imagine some members of the team may be feeling a little delicate today, um, but we had lots and lots of fun. Who else do we have joining us? Alicia's here, Jane, Lisa, Janet, Pam, Jen is here, Christine, Shirley, Kathy. Welcome, everyone. Happy Sunday. Can you believe it's a week since we did the crafter party? It seems to have absolutely flown by um, and the guys have been busy picking orders we've been busy packaging everything I think about halfway through orders from last weekend so everything's going really well color pop boxes have gone out uh, subscription boxes go out this week and also summer camp boxes go out this week so if you are not part of summer camp be sure to hop back and see my live with Eileen Hull and we are doing a travel journal for the summer uh, I'm super, super excited. Kits go out this week, so it will be closing. I believe it's midnight on Tuesday. Sign-ups for that close. And um, I will get you a link while we are talking as well. So how's everyone doing this morning? Let me know what you've been up to, what your plans for the Memorial Day weekend. Um, tomorrow, uh, we have our team coming in. And Katie's wish for her last day, which officially is tomorrow, was to craft with the whole team. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a little craft day. Her mum is coming over and um, we're gonna teach them to foil and we're gonna teach them all kinds of fun things. And um, I really, really can't wait. I love doing stuff like this, it's so much fun. Okay, so I'm going to get you a link. It is summercraftcamp.com. It's a super easy one to remember as well. Um, Gina says, it's hard to believe I've gotten my ColourPop box. Bethany says, hi, Lisa. Jane's on a road trip. Um, Mama Disney is in California. Um, yes, yeah, so lots of fun things going on here. But last weekend, we had our crafter party, which is so much fun. We love doing that. We do it every quarter. You get big box of stuff. Um, but we had a little bit of a problem because our stamp company had sent the stamps for the new release twice, and UPS had lost them twice. Can you believe? I don't know how they lose something twice, but anyway, they did. So um, here I have lots of samples. I have the stamps so we can play with them and you get to see all the fun stuff that is coming out. Now I'm gonna just drop a link to the new release for you um, like that. I have turned on free shipping. That was not Bethany endorsed, so shh, don't tell her uh, but there is free US shipping on any size order this weekend I'll turn it off on Tuesday before she gets back in the office but that's going to be our secret okay um so yes <clears throat> when will the Facebook page for summer camp go live? it should be live Lisa if you've requested to join Amanda has been on vacation this week she manages the group um so she'll be back in again on Tuesday and she'll be able to approve everyone there um Bethany just got in from the church. This is the other Bethany. And Bethany says, we won't tell Bethany. Thank you. 
All right. So we're going to start off with our color of the month, which is Lady Liberty. And we had Lady Liberty gems, and I think they were our best. Oops, we're done here. Well, they were our best selling gems ever. I mean, like ever, ever, ever. I love this color. And I the name, you'll see, it reminded me exactly of the Statue of Liberty. Look at that beautiful, beautiful color. Now, to give us some comparison, we'll put some Welsh Dragon on the side there. So you can see that one's a little bit darker. Um, and Blue Moon is going to be more onto the tealy side. So you can see it kind of fits between. So if you took Lady Liberty, Blue Moon, and Welsh Dragon, you would have a really nice trio. You could even... Throw in a little bit of pop art. Whoops. Okay, my one definitely needs re-inking. You can see it's gone a little bit light, but you've got some pop art there that's going to be a lighter one. Mine is all dried out. And then you also have tartan teal, which is going to add, definitely need some re-inking in here. That's going to add a much darker tone. So that gives you a good way to um, put all of that together. So you can kind of see how those go. I love this color. I use it all the time. I've been using it secretly on the side ever since I got the samples in January and I am absolutely in love with it. There is of course a matching re-inker available and um, I have linked up the collection in there for you as well. Um, I may need some help with a couple of links so you, I may need uh, someone to help jump in and, and help me. Um, but where should we start? Let's see. All right so this collection is called Young at Heart. So it's all about fun things. You can use them for kids. You can use them for adults. You can use them uh, for scrapbook journals and things. And I'm super excited because we've never had a collection like this. There is a lot of coloring and critters in here as well. Um, things that people have been asking for. So I'm going to start off with Bang Bam Pow. Okay. So you are my superhero. Wham, kaboom, zap, bang. And you have a mixture of girls and boys on here because girls like to be superheroes too. You'll see throughout this collection. Oh, thank you, Jen. I really appreciate it. Um, you're going to see lots of uh, boys and girls doing things. So this here is a card that Carrie made. She's used a stencil in here. And this is actually pre-printed paper. So this is our A2 comic book paper. I'll show it to you later on. But it comes pre-printed. And there is a stencil set that overlays it too. Um, so you can create all these cool cartoon cards for your favorite people. Okay, isn't that cute? I think she's done an amazing job. But Carrie, all the girls do always do such an amazing job. So I love that they uh, took the paper and put it in there as well. The last link you posted needs a password. Hmm. Well, we don't have a Bethany, so we're going to figure this out ourselves. Give me two seconds. Um, this is the link she sent me. I think I know how to do this. So um, while you're waiting, why don't you character? I'd love to know. Uh, Maddie is hard. The Dark Knight. That's my favorite kind of film. I'm not a big comic book person, but I do love that one. Um, I'm going to find... One. Okay. Okay, I disabled the lock. Um, Jen, could you just re, re um, refresh the page and let me know if that works? Um, so let me know if that works for you. Okay. It would have been the same as last week, Gina, yes. But I sh hopefully have unlocked it for everyone so that you don't need that link anymore. Hey, welcome. Okay, so I'm going to hope that, that Jen, hopefully it worked. Great. All right, let's go. Because um, we have tons of stuff to get through and I want to do some crafting too. This is our silhouette of the month. It is called Muscle Car. This one I think is a Amanda. Yeah, this is Amanda's card. So this is our beautiful skies paper. And then she did it and cut it out, which I think is really cool. I love just that black and white um, on there. What do you think? I really, really like that. Um, and then 
and then and then and then. You also get a stencil that you can use if you want to. It lines up like this. And so you can add in like clear across here or chrome details, or if you want to, you know, use like your pop art to just highlight something. So all of that kind of stuff is in there. But this is that beautiful skies paper. And honestly, I love these papers. So having these pre-done backgrounds that you can just put stuff on, I think is awesome. Okay. Um, we're not buffering here. And usually YouTube will tell me it's buffering. So do refresh your um, connection if that's the case as well. All right. I think... This was definitely a favorite. And I made a card last week at the crafter party. This is called Beautiful Butterfly Beverly. So for those of you who don't know, Beverly is my adopted Florida mom. She's amazing. And so we have a collection of beautiful butterflies coming out. They're three layers. And this one Carrie did. She used blank canvas on this one and created this effect with... Um... um what's it called? Sunrise Lake. Yeah. Sunrise Lake foil. And then she just used some cardstock down here. And this is the die. So you can see it fits on the A2. So you've got three beautiful layers. And again, you can use one, two, or three. You don't have to use all three. You can use two. You can just use one. You can use it like a stencil. You can make it into a layered stencil. Just pop it on and then stencil into it as well. Um, so all of that, this is brand, brand new. You can't get this die anywhere else yet. The only place you can get it is on the Maker Forte website. It's called Beautiful Butterfly Beverly. And um, you can make some absolutely beautiful cards. If you were in the craft party last week, I made Katie's uh, graduation card because she's a big butterfly person. And I used Chameleon Sparkle and I used Shades of Purple. And it came out gorgeous. I must say, I absolutely love it. So... That is our new die. And if you pair that with some detail dots, it's super easy to use. I think this is my favorite superhero set. Well, I don't know. There is one other one I really like too. Um, I like all of them, but I try and pick some favorites. It's really hard though. So you're my superhero. Look, I finally have the stamps. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, so again, this is the block it out stencil that Carrie used. Yep, Carrie. And then she cut out different elements and added the You Are Magical. Doesn't that just make a super easy, quick comic book strip? So she used two stencils together. So this is Block It Out to give you the blocks. And she used different colors. And then um, I'm trying to think what she used. It's not Dotical Illusion. But it's one of the, the circle stencils in the background there. So I think, again, she did an awesome, awesome job. Um, centering in on things. See, she even needs me a little post-it note. So if you want to copy these, and these do get added to the product pages and things, so you can see all of these cards anytime you want. This is Greg, and I think Katie's favorite stamp set I've ever made. Um, it's called Dream Big. I'm going to take it out of the package because the glare is a little bit high, I know. So this is Dream Big. You've got a little teddy bear in the moon. You have the little elephant with his ducky friend. You have the elephant with the balloons. We have the elephant with the butterflies. We have the two little tweet hearts up here as well. And then the, butter the elephant in his little teacup. I can't wait to color this one in. As I said, the stamps literally just arrived, I think, Thursday. So I haven't had a chance yet to play with any of these, like with actual stamps. But look what she made. This one is Carrie's as well. She used the balloon background stencil and she made this cute little guy down here. Isn't that super adorable? And if you want to, you can take screenshots. You These will get added to the product pages as well. But if you want to, and then you can case them and have fun with them. And then you will, of course, also have everything when you're ready to go with your stamps. And don't forget, I turned on free shipping, free US shipping on every single order until midnight on, well, actually it'll kind of be Tuesday morning when I get back in the office, but you know. This is Tilly's one. Tilly adores this and I kind of designed it for Tilly. It's called Majestically Awkward. 
And so you've got lots of llama corns. You've got these cool little rainbows. You can add sunglasses or glasses onto them. You've got llama corn, all of these kind of things. Spit happens. You're amazing. Save the drama for your llama. Majestically awkward. No problem. No drama llama. And isn't that just like the most perfect card to go with it? Absolutely perfect to go with it. So here you go. Save the drama for your llama. I love it. And this is actually one of our new stencils. You'll see it. She just used three of the, excuse me, of the four layers to create this super cute llama guy, llama corn. I love him with his little rainbow fringe. Isn't that cool? You do not need a code, Carmen. You can just log straight in and at checkout, you will see the free shipping option. Now these, this one and one other, I haven't got to it yet. Um, was probably the most popular one at the crafter party last weekend. This is called Spread What Matters. How cute is this? Um, so you've got Just Breathe, A Wish is the Start of a Dream, Scatter Music, Scatter Love, Make a Wish, Just Breathe. And then you've got um, Dandelions. You've got one that's music, you've got one that's heart, you've got one that's butterflies, and you've got one that's just a regular um, thing and this is what Carrie created and I'm not entirely sure how she did this because this is foiled so she took the image and foiled it but isn't that beautiful like very clean very simple thanks for posting Alicia um very clean very simple but I just love the effect that Carrie got on this one um, so this is Spread What Matters. And there is another dandelion set that goes with it. So I can't wait to get to it. Katie puts these boxes together for me. So I um, I get to have fun with this. Uh, Pretty Princesses is perfect if you want to do your Once Upon a Times. So you have, you are pretty, you are a pretty princess. May all your dreams come true. Make a wish. Hello, princess. Believe in magic. You are destined to do great things. And here you can see Carrie made her princess. So this is some foilable paper. And then she colored in her little princess. And you are destined to do great things. And I think this is our vine stencil, if I'm not mistaken. I think. But I also, I used this. Was it this one I used? Yes. I used this one here. This is called, this is the little girl here. I used our high in the sky. This is a stencil that we had in the crafter party box. And this here is actually part of a die. Uh, it's called the strawberry fields die. It comes in two pieces, but I only seem to have one piece in here. Um, but you actually get two pieces. So it's set one of two. And what it's designed to do is create this. Now this was in the crafter party boxes, but I couldn't help myself but to release a few extra because we had some left over and I thought it was just so adorable. It creates like this. There is a PDF to um, assemble it. This one Katie made, there is a stamp set and stuff that goes with it too. Um, but I took this piece right here with gray. <laughs> yeah, it's Tilly, Gina. It's definitely Tilly um with the gray and I used some chunky embossing powder and other bits and pieces and created this um and I made it look like a little castle wall and I want to take a stamp set I'll show you the stamp set now it's here and put something up here so I have this princess slays her own dragons and then I'm going to have something that comes up down here there is no code needed for the free shipping it'll just appear at checkout free US shipping will just appear at checkout um, now, for those of us who love gaming, Lisa, I don't know if she's on here, but she is a fellow gamer as well. Um, this is called Get Your Game On. Maddie loves this one. I think she may have stolen one from the garage already. Um, we've got, you know, the controllers. You've got the joysticks. You've got the headphones. You've got the star. We have our little portable games console. We have mushrooms. And many of these words here that's in here, we size so you can put them inside the controller if you want to. So like you can have Gamer Boy inside the controller, just one more level, Gamer Dad, Ultimate Gamer, Gamer Boy, you push all my buttons, get your game on, Gamer Girl, I'd pause my game for you, let's play and Gamer. And they will fit down in here. And 
here's one the girls made. Isn't this super cute? Look at that. Like, it's so cool. I don't know. I don't know. They're so talented. I love them. Um, this one is Carrie's. And then she used some Maker's Magic on her portable screen. So, look, it really looks like a screen in that that shimmers at you as well. And I'm hoping that those of you who were at the crafter party last weekend are enjoying seeing the samples. And actually we have real stamps in our hand. So that's why I'm gonna go through them. And then you can all pick your favorites at the end and I'll show you some ways to use them. Woo, that went funny. There we go, come back. Um, we also have another um, princess set. So you can really build up your fairy tale. Uh, this one is called Once Upon a Time You Are a Princess. You are magical. Hello, little princess. Sweet princess. May your dreams come true. Have a magical day. This princess slays her own dragons, and she lived happily ever after. And it's not easy being a princess. But hey, if the crown fits. And then, of course, you have some princesses in here that were inspired by some of my favorite princesses. And um, I now have to... Um, do a dragons, knights, and princes set. I decided, we decided this last weekend. We have princesses for this one. Here is one that Carrie did. Again, she used one of our background stencils on here. Look at how she colored this princess in. She looks amazing, like absolutely amazing. Every princess needs a crown and a prince. Yes, they absolutely do, Kathy. Isn't that cute? Okay. Now, maybe you're not a princess goer. Maybe you're more of a cowboy. So here is your cowboy options. It's called Giddy Up Cowboy. There are cowboys and cowgirls. And of course, it fits really well with the Western, you know, the cowboy boot stamp that we had last month. So you could use that for the backgrounds. Um, you've got cowgirls here, cowboys. You've got a little wanted sign. You've got the sheriff. Someone asked me to do something for sheriff. So I made sure we had a sheriff star as well. Um, you've got the little, um, well, I can't think of horseshoe, you've got mini boots, you've got the saloon doors, you've got your little cactus in here. And also I'm going to show you this at the same time because it makes a little bit more sense. We have the Royal Royal West paper pack. So this really coordinates with everything we've got here. So in the paper pack, you get everything from, um, you know, like, Fun hillside, you put your llama corns on. You've got your western town for your cowboys. You've got, um, you know, backgrounds you can use with really any of these stamp sets. And they're pre-done. Look, you've got magical ones, wild west. So each side. So one side is more kind of like the magical princess. And then the other side is more out in the desert. So you can use it for anything. Of course, you can use it. And you get two of each sheet in there. They're A2 size. So you can use them straight onto your A2 cards. And here is one that Carrie did with our little cowgirl. She used that background. You can see it's all sized perfectly to work together as well. And um, she put a little horseshoe here. And look, super easy. All you have to do is color in your character, cut them out, and put them on the background. And you could stencil extra details on if you wanted to or stick details on. But it's supposed to be that it's super, super easy um, to create a scene. And so you have the Royal Royal West. So as I say, one side, you've got kind of the royal, the ethereal, the magical, the fairies. And the other side are more of your kind of Western cowboy type things. But you could put horses on them. You know, you could use it with any kind of thing on there as well. And free shipping. Perfect. This one, Carrie used the Royal Royal West paper and she used our beautiful princess carriage. Doesn't that look amazing? Which she got from the Happy Birthday Princess set. And again, you can use these pieces with any of these stamps. So here you've got the, cra the castle, you've got the throne, you've got a little princess down here. You've got her carriage, you've got her to kiss a frog, you've got extra crowns and things to add on. So this, the idea is you've got all of this stuff that you can, you know, help build up scenes with as well. You've got happy birthday princess, have a magical birthday. So this is kind of your scenery to build up your scenes, but you can even just pop one here straight on to the background papers. And nobody else has papers like this, where you can just literally put your 
pieces on. And you don't have to create your own background. I love a good stencil background, but sometimes we all need quick and easy. And this is designed to go into that category for you. Let's see what else I have in here. So we have a couple of rubber stamps. Here's the first one. It's called Life is a Roller Coaster. And it was inspired by near where I used to live, Cedar Point. And so here you kind of have your fairground, which you can use on its own. You also have your roller coaster. And isn't this just a beautiful texture? I just love this texture as well on its own. Uh, this one says life is a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride. Now I've got to try and read upside down and back to front. Life has its ups and downs. It is your choice to scream or enjoy the ride. Isn't that cool? And then here is again using one of those pre-done backgrounds. Just stamp the two together and you've got the perfect little um, card done. Or you could do different colors. You could heat emboss one over the other. You could just use one. You know, there's so many different ways you could do this. And um, But this is the beautiful skies paper again. So just they're completely stampable. So you can stamp over the top of them and they come out perfectly just like this. Yes, Olivia, you can still sign up for summer camp. It ends on Tuesday because we'll be sending boxes out this week. Okay, what else do I have in my goodie box here that Katie has built for us? This one is called Royalty. So it's a two-step stencil. And again, you can use one and you can use the other. And they're on the easy store system. So these fit into the snap binders absolutely perfectly. And if you've never had one of our stencils before, you also get an insert that has it colored in just to give you an idea, one, of what it's going to look like. And two, you can just kind of, you know, if you want to put these in a binder so you know what stencils you've got, you absolutely could do that too. Um, you just go to, I put the link higher up, Olivia. Let me just find it. Uh, it is, copy. It's just summercraftcamp.com. So, yes. Um, and here is a little card. I think this is, uh, this is Amanda's. So, she used uh, simple sayings. She used a little tag die and she used a banner die here, which maybe she made her own. I don't know. Um, she's clever. So, she may well have made her own. And then she added just that in the background. Again, super simple. But such an effective, like you could do it for a birth announcement, a new baby, a girl's birthday, tons and tons of things you could use this for. And you could make it into princes too. Or you could do like kiss a frog and make it for something fun like that. You know, all those kinds of fun things. And let's see what else we got. This is our other set I was telling you about. There's a little table in here. Um, this is Feeling a Dandelion. This is the one stamp we've already started using. Um, it says, every dream begins with a wish. I really like this stamp. It's a little bit bigger than some of the other stamps we have. Um, I made a wish and you came true. Just breathe. Okay, you've got another dandelion up here. And the dandelion does not stop growing because it is told it is a weed. It does not care what others see. It says, one day I'll, they'll be making wishes on me. Isn't that a nice sentiment? That's lovely. As the wind blows, smile. If it doesn't feed your soul, let it go. Make a wish. Breathe, smile, and make a wish. Like really nice sentiments on there. And again, use it for lots and lots of different occasions. I can't wait to dive in in a minute and craft with you all. Um, we also have... What else you put in here? We also have an irresistible. So that was our little elephants this is irresistible this is dream big so we have irresistible sentiments which are kind of designed to go with dream big you are irresistible you're an unforgettable friend hugs kisses and birthday wishes you make my heart bubble every year you get better happy new home dream big little one you are so sweet thanks a ton so again just a really nice add-on sentiment set that you can you know play around with and and have fun with but I did design them to go together, but you can absolutely use them separately too. So you know, don't feel constrained by that. Next up, we have Poppets. I think we have to craft with this one. I don't have any samples for this one, so we'll definitely have to craft with it. Uh, this is our new Poppets stamp set. So you have the base 
and then you have your add-on pieces and you have your circles they're all in rows so you can do a cupcake you can do a heart and you can do a unicorn what's popping pop it like it's hot isn't that fun Look how cool is that love it so much fun you can have with this stamp set i'm putting this one to the side because i want to play with that and create some cool cards um don't forget we also have our layering pansy stamp set officially came out in this release and we will be using this i think it's wednesday for lift your spirits so i'll be showing you some cool ways to use layering pansies and do, 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 do. there's this we need and this i'm just going to grab some stuff out here um because otherwise i end up diving through this the whole time I want to show you this. That's really cool. Look at all these awesome things we have in here. And it all gets buried in the bottom. Okay, so now I have a ton of stuff out and no room. So there are now Maker 14 mugs available. Look at these, aren't they lovely? They were in our crafter party boxes. We had a few left, so they are available in the store as well and um, they're really nice, heavy ceramic mug. You can use them to store stuff in, have your coffee in, you know, all that cool stuff. And our glitter, uh, these are our two new embossing powders. So you have orange spritz and you have ocean bubbles. So I'm gonna open them up for you. And this is ocean bubbles. Look at that, it's like a beautiful turquoise with glitter in it. How pretty is that? You can see it on my nail, look. That's exactly how it's gonna come out. I'm going to put my lid on, put that to the side because I'm going to make a mess. And you see how that comes out? So that's how that one's going to look. Jen says her mug has been added to her wine glass collection for ribbon and twine scraps. I love that. And this is, there we go. This is orange spritz. So again, it's like a real neon orange. But look at how bright that is with all of that glitter in, like super, super pretty. Um, one of those. And then your kaleidoscope of the month is bubble tea. So let me show you. So here's how it looks and it's exactly how it's gonna come out. So on something light, it's gonna come out like that. So you can see it's got like a little pink sheen to it. But the second I grab something dark, trust me, I can try anything. You're gonna see, look how gorgeous and bright that appears on black. It'll just wipe off. But I wanted to show you what it looked like. I didn't have black cardstock in front of me. So that's how that went. That is called bubble tea. And if any of you know me well, you know I love my bubble tea. Love, love, love. We also released two chunky spark chunky embossing powders so these are not ultra thick embossing powders they are chunky so they are somewhere in between a regular which is for us is fine all of our embossing powders are fine grind um and an ultra thick so when i made that princess where did she go she was here a second ago maybe she's magically disappeared already so when I made this right here and I used that piece of the strawberry dye, I used the silver and I used the clear and then I did this on grey cardstock. I can't really turn it over so you can see, but it's grey cardstock. And then I just rubbed in with my fingers some fog and some eclipse black and that's how I made it look just like this. Okay, so that's how that one works as well. Um, so you get a whole tin like this. I think this is a four ounce capacity and we fill it pretty much up to the line. So there you go, so you can see. So that's the clear. And the nice thing is these tins, they'll have a sticker on the bottom, but they have a window in the top for your um, chunky embossing powder. So you'll know, because you get a little bit more in these, um, so you'll know that these are your chunkies versus your regular embossing powders. Thanks, Bethany. She said, don't forget to drop a like if you're enjoying seeing this and make your list of one, what your wish list is, and two, what you want me to play around with in a minute. I'm going to move this off because it's half a really bad shadow. And now we get to the point where I can maybe cope with having it on my desk. We'll see. Okay. 
No, it's just stuff everywhere. We also have new gems. They are called, anyone? Shooting Star, I think. Look at these. They're like, there's one right there. It's not quite clear. It's not quite silver. They're like a dewy drop. I don't know how to describe them, but I used them a ton last weekend. And I love how that came out as well. Okay. And then, of course, you have your new uh, Sugar Sparkles. This is California Love. It does glow in the dark, we found out. We didn't know it glowed in the dark. But it kind of does have a little bit of a glow in the dark glow to it. It's really pretty. Look how bright that is. It reminds me of, like, pixie sticks when you're growing up. Come on. There we go. And then this is Mimosa. So this is your chunky glitter. It's perfect. Look at that. And when you put it on black, you see how it shines green? Imagine doing a black shaker card for Halloween with this. Oh my God, it's gonna look amazing. Absolutely amazing. So excited. Oh, so many things to make. And uh, the girls in the team want to learn how to make shaker cards. So I guess I'll be doing that. This is our new cloth. And it is a microfiber cloth. It has an anti-static coating on it. So if you want to use it with foiling and stuff, it works really, really well. I actually use one just for my desktop and stuff. And I have it around just to dry my stamps off once I've cleaned them with Totally Awesome and that. And you can see, like, I just wipe. And I have it to wipe my fingers off on, on my rag. I stick one in my little apron pocket. That's where I just appeared this one from. Um, and I love them. So I have a couple of these around the craft room. I have one I keep nice and white for my foiling. And then I have one that I get, um, you know, super dirty and, and whatnot. Okay. My desktop is like uh, overloaded at this point. We also have perfect stamping paper. So lots of you know, we have perfect stamping cardstock, but um, we've been doing a lot of things with ripping, with Greg and altering and collaging. So I tried to find a paper that, um, worked really well for that so this is a specially coated paper it's 40 pounds so it has a little bit of thickness to it it's not like copy paper but you can see like I can flick it but it's also a really nice terrible so if you like to do collaging and things works really well for gel press prints um you can't use alkalates but you can use it with anything dye based and stuff like that as well and that worked really really well okay and Alicia is here, so she will appreciate that our new cardstock is called Alaskan Blue because it really reminded me of like that glacier color. It's really, really pretty. Let me get a sheet out here so you can see. This is a hundred pounds solid core, you know, all those kinds of amazing things. And um, it also works really well with bleaching techniques. This cardstock works really, really well. If you've never tried that, it's a fun technique and it looks awesome. To match in with your poppets, we also have a poppet stencil. So you can do, um, there are four layers. So you get your big layer. So this is your lightest color. Then you're going to add in a slightly darker shade. So for instance, let's start off with maybe um, Lady Liberty. Then we're gonna move to Pop Art. Then we're going to move to, um, Welsh Dragon. And then you can either go with something like Tartan Teal for your last one, or there is the white ink. I just got the final production sample, so it's actually happening. I'm so excited. Um, also, this is not just great for poppets. This makes a amazing bubble. So if you do this with like ethereal or with kaleidoscope powders, this, can you see how it shines through here? Look, imagine that looking like bubbles. It looks awesome. Okay, so you can do that too. I have a couple more paper packs and some more samples over here. This I will come back to because it's really cool. Uh, this is called It's Stacy's Day. Now, this Stacy is Katie's mum and she adores paper. I mean, this girl, she is like a paper addict. So we did let Katie design a paper pack for her mum's birthday. So these are the sheets. There we go. There's the six. And as you know, you get two of everything. And they're double-sided. 
so you get that in here as well. Um, so this is called It's Stacy's Day. It's a super special paper pack because it was made just for Kate, St uh, Katie's mum, Stacy. And, well, I guess Frank or Charlie is in here. And then um, this is Pop It Real Good. So again, just finishing off that Pop It theme. You have a super cute paper in here. Again, you've got every kind of colored Pop It. You've got rainbow Pop It's. And on the other side, you've got Pop It shapes. So again, you can use it tons of different ways. And you can stamp it, you can cut it, you can you know, do all those kinds of things. Our stamps do not have dies, Olivia, apart from um, things like the simple sayings. You can get SVGs that you can use any of your electronic cutters with any of your supplies. Um, I'm going to play with this one. And I'm also looking for... Hmm, I've lost it. I'm just throwing some things back in the bucket because we get a little bit overrun here, just a smidgen. Um, I was looking for a comic book paper. Maybe I'm not to it yet. Okay. Here we have a beautiful card by Amanda. So this uses our Rainbow Wishes stencil which I united to you earlier that Carrie had used three layers. So she used the three um, layers of this and didn't add on the clouds. But of course, as always, you can just do clouds. You could have a little cloudy background. You could have arches and use it for something else. I'm not entirely sure what right now. Um, and then you can add them together and just have rainbows or you can have rainbows with clouds just like this. And this is our new talk wordy die. Um, here. So you get two pieces, as always, kind of banded together still. Yeah. Oh, apparently I got extra pieces in mine. Um, so you get two pieces here. So you've got the outline like this, and then you have the U that fits in the middle there, just like this. So she used the chip off the block paper, which is our thicker craft um, paper. Again, Great for mixed media and things. But look, you can die cut it and it looks absolutely awesome when you turn it into a card like this. This is the, um, so you can see, this is like a thin chipboard. So if you've ever wanted to play around with chipboard, but you're like, oh, it's a bit thick and I need a special die. This is the perfect thing because it is a, like a really thin chipboard. Uh, it doesn't add too much bulk to your cards. It looks really cool. And then you can add the U on there as well. I made this on Carrie. Look, have a dynamite birthday. Who? Uh, we're doing Young at Heart. We couldn't not have some dinosaurs in here. This is Dina Rific. Look at them. They are just the most the cutest dinosaurs I've ever seen. You're awesome. Dynamite job. Raw. You're Dina Rific. You're dynamite. Have a awesome day. Have a dynamite birthday. And then you've got all you want. This is what I want to do. I want to take, I think this one and turn him into more of a dragon and have him where princesses slay their own dragon. Doesn't that look cute? Look at them. So she just used her Copics down the bottom here. You could also use your splatter stamp. Stencil up in the top there. And she built, again, a super easy scene. Another one here that Amanda did. She took the little guy. This is using the simple sayings dies. And she used the Jurassic background. So here's our little Jurassic guys. <laughs> Thanks for that. I think they're freaking cute too. They really do. I think I really, really do. Uh, this one I love because she really thought outside the box. This is actually our comic explosion stencil. But Amanda took it and look, she turned it into a sunrise. I would never have thought of that. She used the sunrise foil in there as well. So I love the way she did this. She just built a scene. She made the piece on there. And then she um, created this on there. Like, isn't that amazing how she thought of it? Because I just see this as a comic explosion, put a little comic book character in the middle, off we go kind of thing. And she turned it into, yeah, I know Bethany. She's like, now I need to try this idea. It just came out amazing. And this here is our new um, Simple Sayings die. This is called Shout It Out. Again, of course, it comes in the right envelope and 
everything. Um, but our new simple sayings, you're going to get a variety. And some of them are a little bit bigger like this. So here you can see this is the You Make Me Smile. So if you were hoping we were going to do simple sayings, they're a little bit bigger. Again, this is it. Um, I'm trying to see if I've got some here. not wreck anything too much please don't forget um, maybe I don't have any yet just looking what Katie put out for me I'm gonna miss her she does all of these little boxes for me so I'm ready to show you all the new release and things so our simple sayings this is another one they have these four pieces. So Amanda's done the instructions on the back. You line it up and it cuts everything out. Some of your simple sayings are now going to be the whole sheet like this. Again, you're going to line your four squares up and you will have much bigger um, pieces. I was using it so you can see hers are on here. You make me smile. Um, Amanda designs the simple sayings, so I guess she kind of, you know, gets early dibs on that stuff. Next up, I want to show you more of this paper. Okay, so I think this paper is really cool. I've never seen anything like it. Um, this uses the stamp set Your Berry Super. This is the other one I told you I love in the comic book series. It's an alligator and a unicorn and a fox and a rabbit. And I think that's another rabbit. And a raccoon and things all to create, um, you know, fun kind of superheroes as well. Um, so that's who there's on here. And again, super easy. Miles apart, but besties at heart. Isn't that great? And so here's your papers again. So you can create comic book scenes. You get two of each again. But on the opposite side, you turn this paper over. You have our comic book builder system. So you do not have to use this for comic books. You can use it for anything. But the idea is you can either cut pieces of patterned paper or you can stencil. And we even created a set of stencils that go with it. This is um, comic strip builders. So let me see if I can find the right one. Ah, look, this is perfect. So Bethany did it. So you can put this stencil like this over the top of the paper. And now... How easy is that to stencil in? Because everything is masked off. So if you wanted to, for instance, take, I wish I had a pattern stencil to hand. I don't have anything sitting here. But you could put another stencil over the top here and do the design. And each one of these matches. So let's find this one. This one here. So then you've got one that matches this one. So again, you can put that over. Stencil. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, Carrie, we are loving your samples. You did an amazing job, as always. And so did Amanda. Um, so here you have, on the opposite side, we didn't want to waste this. And there wasn't enough that we could put two on one. So you get extra speech bubbles. You get little explosions. You get um, different kind of speech bubbles, like a little flashy one. Um, you've got thought bubbles. And just to also let you know, so if you love, say, I don't know, this thought bubble right here, you're like, well, actually, I don't want my tails to go off to the right. I want to go to the left. Just remember, just flip it over. And all of a sudden, your tails are now on the other side, just like that as well. Okay. So you can see. So that this is the comic book strip builder system. And then you've got the comic book strip paper. Um, and the two work together. You can get one or the other. You don't have to get both. But it's designed that it makes each one easier to use even more better. And you don't have to use them for comic books. Remember, you could cut out pieces of pattern paper this size. You could stencil things. You could use it for any stamps just to build up a card. Basically, it just gives you, it's like using a sketch. So it's kind of like having a sketch pre-done for you. And you can keep going on there as well. So don't feel that this is just for comic books. But, you know, I designed this comic book. Give you an idea. And then if you love the whole comic book thing, there is a slimline version of the paper. And on this version, you've got the same thing. So on one side, you've got your builders. Again, do not think they are just comic book strips, but all sorts of things. And on the opposite side, you have all of these cool, like bits, you know, fun things like the one that Carrie used with this one. How cute is this? Does this not remind you of a certain like um, type of comic book character? 
I didn't say the words out loud because I just get in trouble. So, um, you know, maybe we'll play around with these in a minute too. So I'm keep that mind. Uh, this is my stamp set, and I'll tell you there is a story behind this. This is called Nesting Dolls, and I've always wanted a Nesting Doll stamp set. Um, it says, you're beautiful inside and out. We're a perfect fit. It's what's on the inside that counts. We fit so well together. I love you to the core. And the reason is my great-grandma, who was German, she bought me a set of nesting dolls when I was probably about Tilly's age, and I still have them in my little treasures box. Um, they were just plastic. They were nothing special, but she bought me this set, and I love them, and I've kept them forever. And so I was really excited to be able to do a nesting dolls um, stamp set. And the girls did amazing samples. So this is Carrie's one. She used vintage damask and declear embossing powder in the back. She foiled her sentiment here. She colored these in. Don't they look gorgeous? I, I love how they look. They look just like the dolls I have in my collection. And then she made this one. And she needs to tell us the dimensions she scored at. This is actually a top fold uh, card base right here so if you imagine this is your a2 top fold and then she scored it to go in half no just a bit more than in half i have to get the dimensions and so when you fold it it creates this like accordion card how cool is that this is vintage buttons embossing folder uh with our red card stock and then she's used some foundry wax on here and look how cool that looks isn't that amazing? And then she did this cute little thing. This is stamping paper. This is our paper, not cardstock. And you just slide it over. And it's like a little belly band that goes on there. I love that. Carrie, I am in love with this. I'm keeping this. This is never getting sent out. I'm really sorry, anyone. I was hoping they might get that one. This one is not going there. Uh, Carrie says she'll share the dimensions soon. Awesome. Because I love this. And then, oh, here we go. This is how the... Um, the shout it out die goes. This is typeset sentiment. So this is one that's out. Um, look, you've got all of these much bigger. So to give you an idea, here's a card that Amanda made and another one. Again, this is the same stack. Can you believe? I'm trying to get it so I can get both on the screen, kind of like that. Um, these Amanda made. Um, but you can see like this is a nice big bold sentiment. It takes out the front of the card. Um, and you can cut them all out. I store them either in the bag like this, or I use the easy store pockets and do them that way. And it's called street art. Okay. And you've got all kinds of elements on here. So you have, where is it? You've got the street art background like this. You've got the spray paint dripping. You've got the piece here. The earth without art is just eh. And happy birthday, full disclosure, there's no money inside. I thought that was perfect for teenagers. You know, teenagers. Um, I have one of those. They're uh, an interesting breed of their own. So last thing I wanted to show you, there's no products to share with you, particularly in this one. Um, but Amanda made this book and she sent it to me. This is Greg's paper from last month. And then as you go through the book, she used the Life is a Roller Coaster here on her tags. This is Muscle Car. Look how cool this looks. And then you've got a little tag made out of another one of Greg's papers. These are all Mr. Maker papers on here. Um, the Earth Without Art is just eh. So she's taken it. This is the international postage from Mr. Maker. So she's taken this and done it in like a completely different vein. I really can't believe that this is all the same stuff. Life is a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride. Like, it's so cool. These pieces here are, that's um, from street art. That's that dripping piece. And here, like how cool is this? She used the stamps again, some of Greg's papers. So yeah, Sedona cardstock, Grand Canyon Eclipse inks. And then on each page, she's put it on there. But you've got street art, roller coaster, old world maps, handwritten, street art, splatters, vintage paper, all the different things. How cool is that? I mean, that is just like, that takes something that's like a really fun, and it turns it in on its head to become this beautiful collage distressed thing as well. Okay, so who's ready for some crafting? 
I think, let, why don't we play with life as a roller coaster first? Um, I really love this stamp set, so I'm excited to play with it. I would love to know, out of everything you've seen so far, what's your favorite? I need a piece of maker's surface to craft on. So what's everyone's favorite thing you've seen so far? I'm all in. I even have my coffee. Alicia will recognize the cup. We have matching cups. Let's see. Um, the cup is I will drop the link for you, Olivia. Pop it stamps. The roller coaster says seal. Hey seal! I haven't seen a long time, as long as I've had Maddie. Um, awesome, I'm loving all of this. Hard to pick a favorite, hard to choose with the embossing powders. Uh, very super, of course, Carrie, I knew you'd love that one. All right, so let's start off with Life is a Roller Coaster. So this is the one that Amanda made. She used the pre-done background. I'm actually gonna blend my own background for this one, I think. And um, what should we use? I like a little bit of Cotswold and Hyde Park for the ground. Then I'm going to start with some English mustard, some red Leicester, maybe even some lemon. So I think I'm going to start with those five colors. Has everyone here claimed their free ink pad as well? I want to know if you've claimed your free ink pad yet. So I'm gonna start with some Hyde Park. Bethany Knight's Princess Poppet Stamps Roller Coaster Dino Superhero, the favorite list is very long. Don't forget, it's also free shipping on the Maker Forte site this weekend, just on makerforte.com. No code needed. It's just my little thank you um, for the Memorial Day. We actually have a couple of veterans who've worked for us, and Ali, many of you remember, her husband joined the Air Force as well, so um, very close to our heart as well. Okay, so I'm just going to start going in here. So I started with Hyde Park and I kind of blended up about a third of the page. I just let it naturally fade. And here I'm just adding a bit of texture with some Cotswold Green. This is one of my favorite greens. And if you haven't tried our inks, honestly, go and give it a go. If you just go to IWantFreeInk.com. I want free ink. Com. I think that's right. Someone can tell me if I'm wrong. Um, and you can get a free ink pad. Just pay the shipping um, because, you know, USPS isn't the cheapest, but we will give you the actual ink pad itself for free. Um, it's my gift to you. And I bet you will love this ink. So I'm going to go again in here. I'm starting off with lemon. Okay. And I'm doing all over. I find that this is the easiest way to build up a scene. If I'm not using stencils and, you know, I'm not using anything else, then I just kind of go in with my color and I naturally let them fade together like this. All right. So this is lemon. Elizabeth loves the new simple sayings. Like, it's great, isn't it? Having those little bit of a bolder sentiments. Gina, of course, loves the butterflies. I knew you would, Gina. I thought of you the second we had them designed. I thought, I know he'll love those. Now I'm going in with some English mustard. You see how that instantly starts to warm up my sky? So I'm putting more in the top third, but I am still letting it come down because um, I'm going to kind of create a false horizon in this. And you'll be amazed how much your eye just fills everything in anyway. And then finally, I'm going here with some Red Leicester. We might even need some Grand Canyon, but we'll see. 
So I'm just warming this up really around the edges here. You see how I'm really kind of concentrating on like almost like an arch. So I'm kind of just taking an arch here. And so there is my background. It's supposed to look a little bit like sunset. I think I kind of achieved that. Okay. And now we're going to grab out our misty and start doing some stamping. So take this out, pop this in, and I'm going to stamp my scene down first. This is my roller coaster, just like this. And I'm going to actually stamp this, I think, in fog. See how it looks. This is the nice thing, because you can always start in fog and then be like, mm, actually, I think I want eclipse. Smusher. Let's do fog a second time. Again, just like this. Love how this is coming out. Look at that. It's just kind of starting to come together. And now I do want it a little bit firmer, but not too much. So I'm going to take my black and I'm literally just going to focus on the top of it. You see how I've done this? And then take my cloth. This is my new cleaning cloth. You see, this is how mine gets all icky. And I'm just dabbing on the bottom because it will give me a natural fade out. Okay. So when I lift this up, you see there how it's that and it just fades down into the distance. It's exactly what I was kind of going for. I'm going to take this one off, put it away. Where does it go? I think it goes almost there. And then I'm going to take my scene like this. Actually, I can zoom out a little bit. There we go. So then you can see a bit more. Um, and we're going to do all of this. Actually, I think I want to be more like over here. Yeah, I like that like that. And I'm going to stamp this. I'm going to start out with some Grand Canyon. Not sure if I'm going to stay Grand Canyon, but I'm definitely going to start with some Grand Canyon over the top here. It's my smusher. Lisa says this makes you want to take another week off just to craft. Wouldn't that be fun, Lisa? So that's kind of how we're looking. I'm going to do another coat of Grand Canyon just to make sure I really build that up. really kind of gives you the effect of the foreground and the background. Let's take this one off too. I'm just going to give this a light wipe off just so that I don't put my arm in it somewhere. I'm going to give it a good clean afterwards. Okay. It's great for just like cleaning out the bottom of your misty and whatnot. You see, I use these cloths all the time. Um, now let's take a trimmer. I saw the Tilly, Tilly had my trimmer yesterday. Um, I don't have a trimmer anymore. See, this is the problem. This one. Okay. Yes, free ink pad coming. Go to IWantFreeInk.com and you can get a free Maker 14 ink pad. Just, just pay the shipping. 
Uh -huh. So I'm going down to three and three quarters. And I'm going down to five inches. So there's my finished sized piece. And you know I love my black piece. I'm going to use that next. And I also turned on free shipping in the store. It's our secret. We're not telling Bethany because um, I didn't ask her how to do it, so I may have done it wrong. Um, so we're going to keep that a secret and hope she doesn't notice. So you can also shop makeaforte.com with free shipping. No code, no nothing. I just turn on free U.S. shipping. Hopefully I'm not in trouble. Um, well, this one might not have been cut down, so I'm going to put this one up here so that we can cut off our pieces. Let's also get our cloth, which is great for wiping up adhesive messes. Look. Now, you would have no idea I spilled adhesive in that corner up perfectly. So, we need five and a quarter by four inches. And I'm just, just going to do the same as just trim this down a smidgen. Isn't that cute? It's so easy but looks amazing. Of course you can also use the pre-done papers too and I think I found some sentiments here so let's grab one of these out. See what we've got. You make me smile. Um, you are incredible. I kind of like that shape on there. What do you think? I like that on there. Sending happy thoughts. I kind of like the you are incredible on there. So that's the fun thing. You just tip it out, find what you want. Put these away. If we use napkins on our cards, can we use, what can we use over it to keep it from tearing? Um, Gina, I like using Maker's Magic, honestly, because um, you can use it like a collage medium as well. Grab some foam. Pieces. We need some fashion stamps and dyes, purses, shoes, and frames. Oh, I like that idea, Carmen. Um, we do have the your in be in vogue, I think it's called from Alex Siberia. Um, that's the one that kind of comes to mind, but yes, definitely more. And there's a card, you just mount that up on a card base, off we go. And I love that life is a roller coaster like that. And you can see just that natural fade that we had with the fog really kind of like you know makes it go into the distance like that. So some good tips and tricks, I think, in there for ways that you can use it. Um, let's play around with our poppets quickly, too. I'm going to grab out some stuff here. And we need our foam pad to go back in. So we've got photopolymers. Steel toe cap boots and a hard hat. Okay. If you have any requests like this for stamps, make sure you do email them to Bethany because she's always on the lookout for ideas and, um, you know, things. And you never know when they might just appear somewhere. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to use my black. Now, while you're watching, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And, of course, uh, make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell so that you see everything. On Wednesday, we have Lift Your Spirits coming up. And we've got to redo Foil on Friday and all kinds of fun things. So 
So this one, I'm going to, now you could do this lots of different ways. I'm just gonna color in with markers on mine. So let's find some appropriate colors that we wanna use. I had a whole box of them out, but I don't know where they went. So we're gonna go. Some real pink. Ooh, this one's a little over juicy. We'll be cutting this image out. So if you ever have that with an alcohol marker where it starts to leak on you, just take the other tip off and it will equalize the pressure and then it won't drip on you. Like that. Move that over too. Let's use an orange. So I like to outline first and then fill in. I don't know why I'm not moving this around because it's way easier if you do. Particularly as I'm a lefty, so I go the completely opposite way to everyone else. Yellow. Well, it's more of a green, but it's okay. Yeah, it's my yellow and green together. Then we'll go in with some blue. I mean, I'm just picking random colors out of my Copic box. You can decide what works for you. And purple. And then once we've done that, oh, by the way, if you have a blending pen, put another sheet of color underneath. We may be able to even correct this. So I'm just going to take my blender and I'm going to push the color back in. And it's going to take a couple of goes. So I'm going to do this and then stamp and then we'll have one more go. You see how I'm already bleaching that right out? And I'm taking the color and I'm pushing it back in. Okay, we'll let that dry for a second. We'll have another go. So now I'm going to take my dots. And just because I did multicolor, I'm going to do them in black. I think that will work out best for this one. But if you did it all in one color, then definitely you could tone in with another color as well. Look how cute this looks and then for your like you know the highlight you could use all sorts of things um you could use an embossing powder that would look really cute i think like a silver or a white um you could use fog depending on the color you used you can also get a sneak peek of a white ink pad that's coming. So, Katie's used this. I haven't even had a chance to use this. She tried it out yesterday. She told me it was awesome. So let's hope it is because look at that. There's a little white highlight on there. That look awesome, just like that. Of course, you can do it twice as well. It's pigment based. Um, she did it on black and she showed it to me and it looked really good. I like that second time. Look at that white. Um, so we can try just pushing this in a smidgen more. Let's 
pretty much nearly gone. So you can just keep working on it, or of course you can cut it out. But that's how that poppet just pops like that. Isn't that fun? Like a little element, you could do a few of those around a card and things. So that's how the poppet stamps works for those who are wondering how they work. I'm gonna put my zero back in my drawer here as well. Oh, don't worry, I will let you know as soon as that white ink is here, um, because I think it's gonna be like the bomb. I've worked so hard on this white ink with our ink chemist that we are both like so excited. He emails me every day and says, have you tried the white ink? Like, no, it hasn't arrived yet. Then it comes. So I'm like, no, I've been really busy. I'm sorry. So yeah. And I'm going to do this. And instead of making it a comic book, because I think you've all kind of seen how this becomes a comic book. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, Greg's or Maddie, I don't know. Somebody's doing the dishwasher, I guess, from the party. So. Um. so we're going to make this into a non-comic book thing. So I'm going to grab a stencil out. My stencils are over here. You have to come with me. So hopefully you all feel the same way I do, that it's never too early to start holiday cards because I love holiday cards. Uh, so I'm going to start off with this one. And we're going to use, um, let me see. This will be my first holiday card of the year. All right, so I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna do a pink holiday card because I love pink holiday cards. So I'm going to start off with some bubble tea. I'm going to take our stencil. I would recommend pixie spray with these stencils just because there are some fine areas. But I haven't pixie sprayed mine, so we're going to see. We're going to wing it the best we can, given that. But I want to give it a light pink tinge. I'll line this back up again. Now I can hold one panel, this will be easier. So I'm just putting a little light coat of bubble tea down. You can see, so I've just filled in that area and I kept everything nice and white around it. Now I'm gonna to move to some bubble gum and I'm going to use holiday paper stencil with it. Put this over the top. just to add a little bit of background tone. So this is just a stencil over a stencil, like that. So you see it now has that little bit of holiday paper. I kind of want an extra bit down here. Adding just a little extra line in there. And then so my cleaning bucket, I'm going to change tact a little bit and I'm going to add on joyful words and I love a little bit of blue on a holiday card so I'm going to use some neon lights it is almost time for Christmas in July so you are absolutely right so I'm now gonna add that on. Uh, 
And I love pink and blue at Christmas. I got a pink and blue tree one year. It's probably one of my favorite trees that I ever made. Although, again, I say that every year because I love my Christmas trees. Okay. So we can lift that up, lift that up. And there's our piece done. We can trim that out, pop it on some black. And then I would take a simple saying, cut it out of a circle. This is sized. The dog's got himself stuck. Um, this is sized to fit with your simple sayings. You can just pop one over the top there. And there is a super quick and easy Christmas card. So you don't have to do that. You could even cut out pieces because you've got the, the stencil. So you could put this over a piece of pattern paper, just trace it, cut it out with your trimmer, and you could paper piece really easily and have that on there as well. So, you know, kind of think of it in lots of different ways as well. Does that help you to see like how useful this paper is going to be? I know it's designed to be comic books, um, but you'll see more and more of them. Um, we'll be having them come out in different like configurations and things. There'll be Christmas themed ones, all those kinds of things. Because I think these are really cool, yes, to build our comic books. And that's kind of where my inspiration came from. But once I had them, I was like, oh my goodness, I can do paper piecing. I can do patterns. If I have a stencil that goes with it, I can do double stenciling. Like so many different things I can do with this. So hopefully all of that as well. Um, Gina, I will let you know as soon as it is available. I promise um, we're thinking Christmas in July, but just keep your fingers crossed. Um, I'm really excited. I finally got the samples. So this is what it looked like. It will have the clear lid and it'll be super cool. So we'll keep you posted on that one. Um, but thank you for joining me and spending some of your Sunday, yeah, Sunday morning with me, afternoon, depending on where you are. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this new release. Don't forget to hit subscribe, ring the bell, and of course, give us a thumbs up. And now I need you to go and fulfill your wish lists. We will get them shipped out ASAP. And you have free shipping right now until Bethany notices and turns it back on. So go grab that. No code needed. And one last thing I really want you to do is go to IWantFreeInk.com and I will ship you out a free ink pad. One of these amazing colors I've been playing with and you can try it out and all those kinds of things. And I can't wait to see what you think of it. So thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Katie's coming over to craft with me. I'm super excited. And I'm on her chanda tomorrow as well on the TV or creating craft as it is now, I should say over in England via Skype, of course, because I'm right here in America right now. So uh, yeah, so I will be via Skype link on Create and Craft tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Happy crafting and have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.